So I have created a Python script that lets you share any file and folder over your local network with just one simple click. All you have to do is copy the Python file into the folder you want to share and run it. And that's it. And now you might wondering it is safe or not. Don't worry. This script uses username and password authentication so only user with the correct credential can access your files. Now let's see how to create this script step by step. And yes, this works only any machines with Python installed, no need to install anything else. So if you don't know how to install Python on your Windows 11 machine, then I have already made a separate video on this topic. You can check out on my video description, I will give you the link on my video description. So at first, what you have to do, you just need to simply go to go under that folder, which you want to share. So suppose here in my case, here's my external hard drive. Under that, I will go under ISO folder. So here, I want to share this ISO folder on my LAN. So what I'll do is first, under that folder, which you want to share, you need to create a notepad. So right click, go to new and click on text document. After that, you need to open that text document and after that, simply what you have to do, you just need to go to my website, which is strictnology.in. So link I will provide to my video description. After I go to that website, I have already mentioned all the command over here. So one click folder sharing on local network using Python. So as you can see, here's my Python version, which is 3.064 bit. Okay. So a link I will provide on my video description how to install uh, Python on your Windows 11. So after install, what you have to do, you just need to simply open Notepad and go to my website. Here you will get uh, two uh, script. One is without username and password. If you don't need username and password uh, while you are accessing your uh, share folder, then you can use this script or else you can if you want like username and password while you want to uh, access your shared folder then you can use this script so currently i will use this one so i'll simply copy this script to my notepad okay so here you, you will see the configuration the configuration is showing like username so username in my case it is strict no logic, so you can set it over here anything like uh, as per your choice and password also you can choose any password in my case it is one two three as you can see and port number also 8080 you can uh, select any port like 900 or 900 whatever you want you just need to put that uh, port number over here and while you are accessing that share folder you need to make sure that you have you have to put that port number okay so now what i'll do is i will go to file and click on save as now what i have to do is now simply save type I have to select here all files. So now the file name, the extension should be .py because it is Python file. So make sure that the extension should be .py. .py. And file name, you can put anything like in my case, I'm putting here share folder Python. Okay. So make sure that you have put it over here .py means uh, Python file. After that, click on save. Now, if I'll go to under that folder, as you can see, one Python file is created successfully. So I'll open that Python file. Now it is showing like, as you can see, access from your uh, device. Uh, if you want to access from your uh, this PC, only this PC, then you have to click on that link by pressing control and click left click on that link. And it will show you this username and password uh, window and username as you can see technology password on to three so i'll put over here technology and password one two three now let's see if it's working or not as you can see it is working perfectly so now i'll show you guys if you want to access this share folder from any other pc on your network what you have to do simply minimize this window now what you have to do open your cmd after open cmd type ip config command and it will show you your computer IP address. In my case, it is 192.168.0.147. Simply what you have to do, you just need to note down this IP address. Now here's my MacBook and I will try to access the share folder from this MacBook. So I'll simply type the IP address with port number. And as you can see, it is working perfectly.
So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members. A special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.